<laughs> it's like quicksand. <laughs> I'm sinking. <laughs> she wanted to do it. <laughs> Tessie's gonna ride down the horsey. <laughs> Oh my goodness. There's no Mickey Mouse. There is no Mickey Mouse, no. He must have went home with somebody. They must have sold him. They got the giant Minnie Mouse for you to hug. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's Mickey Mouse up there. Oh, he is up there. And there's a poo and an Olaf. Yeah. Get him down. Oh, well, he's too high. Mommy can't reach him. Wait. Because he's up high. He's way up. Oh, poor Minnie. Uh, sorry, Minnie. Sorry, Minnie. <gasps> oh, oh, you found the big ones. There they are. They moved them. Oh, oh, there's the Mickey over there. Aw, they've been loved on a lot. Oh, no, Mickey. I'll pull you out, Mickey. I think they want him. Maybe that's his hiding place. I think they like to keep him there. Do you think? Maybe. My baby goat. What are you trying to I'm do? I'm trying to get him. Where are you trying to take him? Sorry, Mickey Mouse. Uh, uh, uh. Are you trying to bring I'll him next? You. Are you trying to bring him next to Minnie? So they can be together? That's so sweet. Oh my goodness. I don't know how it'll <laughs> Quite the job. I love you, Minnie Mouse. Oh, I love you, Minnie. I am awesome and relaxed. Okay. All right, mommy will rearrange them a little. Okay, mommy arranged them so that Chelsea can sit in them. Go sit right in between them. How's that sound? And snuggle up. Oh my goodness, perfect. Perfection, love it. Looks good. <laughs> Is it comfy? Uh oh, oh boy. Mickey down. Sorry, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey's, Mickey's been through the ringer. There we go. That's oh, better. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> so cute. Uh oh, somebody lost a binky. We're in Coles. And Chelsea's headed towards toys. She saw Minnie from all the way across the store, up on the wall. And she's like, I'm going to go see Minnie. And she sashays down the aisle. Have, have yeah, frozen. Mm -hmm. Oh, Paw Patrol chairs. Paw Patrol, oh, Paw Patrol chair, like your Mickey chair. How cute. That's right. Oh, a wrist. A mm hmm It's not doing anything. No, it doesn't do anything. Well, that looks cool. It's a Gotham City Jail. Cool. Ooh. Got your prisoners in there. Oh, they've got a Shopkins Power? display case. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all the Christmas stuff. 99 cent for this thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so one of our viewers had wanted to know where the hairdryer shop kin came from. And we had no idea until I found this display case at Kohl's. That one's a hairdryer, it's an exclusive. Did he bite you? Let's press for dino sounds, but I don't know. Oh, it looks like it might have been opened. Oh! You hiding Hot Wheels? <laughs> Got your Hot Wheels? <laughs> you press the button. It's time. Is he gonna eat your napkin? Oh no! Look at all the. Are these birdhouses? Bird Where do they go in? Oh, I guess that is a hole there. <laughs> Look at all these neat little birds on the side. Oh, everyone, one, do you really one, think one, a little one, bird's going to fit one. through there? Probably. Really? Log cabin, the mill's cool because they did all the stonework on it. Oh, that's yeah, cute. Look at, yeah, look at that one. Chelsea keeps playing with <laughs> that. little RV camper. So okay, cute. open that and say hello. Is that for the, the birdies to live in? No, the people live in. Oh, there's little people that live in that? Yeah. Okay. She thinks think it's a toy. <laughs> A beach house, like a little cottage. That's adorable. I don't know how to open this. Go look over there. Oh. Is she in awe of it? 
Do you see who's on there? Oh, it's soft too. <laughs> We've got a bedroom for Chelsea to decorate. What do you think? Disney princess stuff up there. Oh, Big Olaf stuff. heads. <laughs> Creepy Olaf heads. Do I look like Olaf? <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. Oh my, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know how safe that is, Chelsea. It's so cute. There you go. <laughs> She's like, I'll take it all. Okay, we're gonna go eat some dinner at Jersey Mike Subs. We actually saw one of these when we were in Michigan. We just did not have time to stop at it. And they just opened one. I don't know how long since it's been here. So we're gonna go try that for dinner. It's just, I think, like regular subs. All right, we're ready to eat. I got, what is this called? Tur uh, giant. Giant sign. <laughs> number see number this seven. Thing. And that it's literally big. that long. <laughs> that could feed a whole all of us. <laughs> That's big. We got the turkey. Mm, looks good. Look at the meat. Wow. Uh, oh, that might be yours. <laughs> it's got provolone on that side. <laughs> Mine's got cheese on it. Mike doesn't like cheese. Jersey Mike eat. Mike eat and Jersey Mike. Good. Good bread. Mm. Yeah. Okay, quick review of Jersey Mike's. Better than Subway, not as good as Firehouse. <laughs> and I completely agree. <laughs> like it was good bread. I, I have a hard time anytime now going to Subway and getting fresh bread. Yeah. That was good bread. Every time we go to Subway, it seems like their bread is stale. It's been sitting, it's been sitting for too long. And it's always just a disappointment. Like their, their veggies aren't all that fresh. I don't know. I'm not, well, I don't really care for Subway much anymore because no. there's these competitors that have come out with better subs and they're fresher and they just taste better. Um, I am a firehouse girl through and through. <laughs> I love my firehouse and I told Michael it, I don't think anything's going to top firehouse okay, for me. Well, here's the difference. The, uh, the Jersey Mike, they don't do anything special. It's, it's just, just a sub. It's just firehouse. They cook or they I don't, steam, steam, they like steam, steam it meat. or something. Oh, they it's add so some good. Nice seasoning to it. That was just basically bread, meat, cheese, and lettuce, tomato, onion. Yep. And Mayo. if you guys have ever had a pub sub, so like a Publix, the store Publix sub, that tasted a lot like a, a Publix sub, only probably not because they Publix uses boar head or like really good meat. Meats. So um, Publix might even be a little bit better than that. I mean, it was good and we enjoyed it and we didn't finish it all because that was a lot. They did give you a big sandwich. So the price was pretty good, but overall. They do fresh slice your meat and your cheese right there. Yeah, and that's nice because Subway, they don't cut your meat right there, so who knows, <laughs> yeah. And you know, Firehouse, I think their meat must be really good too. So overall it was yeah, okay. It wasn't, wasn't good. bad, but wasn't there bad. wasn't nothing special about it really. Nothing nothing super special about it and definitely we agreed we're like we're definitely firehouse lovers. Well yeah, I don't think even if we wanted to, that's probably the only one that exists in Florida. <laughs> yeah. So definitely, I mean worth a try, but gotta love our firehouse. <laughs> It's time for the question of the day and it's Saturday night which means we make up our own question and we've been racking our brains. <laughs> it's harder than you think I guess. So today's question is what is your favorite website? I'd like to know how many questions we've actually done. It would be really hard to count them because I didn't no. look back literally through every single video. No, all you'd have to do no, is... there's been days we didn't have to do questions oh. and traveling and stuff, so we okay. to get an accurate Okay, all you'd accurate have to number. do is, I wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to do accurate, and then we but we could go back to the very... Years. It's been a few years, that's a lot. Yeah, it's been Go back to years. the very first one that we did, calculate the days, and then kind of, eh, yeah, we probably missed a few and knock some of those numbers off. You could do a rough estimate. Probably been sometime in 2014, years. I think we started. Wow. No. 
Uh, that's before it was probably 2013. And like, we need y'all's help with this because <laughs> you guys submit the question of the days. And it, what's really hard is, you know, a lot of them we've already done before. And then it's like, well, maybe that person wasn't watching when we did it, but you can't keep repeating the same question. So, and sometimes we have repeated them. It just happens. If anybody knows the very first day, the very first question, let us know. I'm going to guess it happened in 2013. Uh, I could pull it up in two seconds because I know exactly what it is. Do I win? <laughs> I guess. $1, one million. Two, it was titled one, $1 million. And the very first question of the day that. was, if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? How do you know that? Because I remember. That's how we started question of the day. That was our very first question of the day. Know. So the vlog was titled $1 million, I think is what it was. Okay. And that was when we started doing question. Okay, so what's your answer? <laughs> So Very I exciting. win. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say YouTube because I don't watch a whole lot. Mm. Oh. But that's what we do. Uh, I'm not going with Amazon. <laughs> Amazon because I can buy stuff. <laughs> I, like Ooh, for stuff. I might change my answer now. <laughs> okay, Amazon. YouTube or BuzzFeed? Because oh. they're, they have both a bunch of funny stuff on them. Alex likes BuzzFeed. And Harry Potter stuff. You can always find Harry Potter stuff on BuzzFeed. All right. Okay, so I was going to say one answer, and I totally changed it nope. once Michael said nope. Amazon. What? stick with your first answer. No. That's the rules. No changes. I'm changes. Nope. No copycats. And when you hear mine, you might change these, yours, eBay. Because yeah, but eBay oh. it frustrates me as much as it's good. As much as <laughs> as much as we love eBay, it's the most irritating, frustrating website ever. Oh, ever. by the way, I, I came up with this question. eBay. Did you mention that? I came up with it. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Okay, we're not handing out brownie points. <laughs> I get I get my brownie points for knowing question of the day start, and Alex gets them for making up the question. Yeah. <laughs> so we want to know from you guys, what is your favorite website? Leave it in the comments below.